Hey everybody, my name is Leland with Friends of the San Juans and welcome back to another episode of the FOSJ Video Shorts. We're here in Silverton with the Colorado Department of Transportation with Vance Kelso, maintenance supervisor, who's gonna to talk to us a little bit about what to do and what not to do when parking on top of the passes. Hello, my name is Vance. I work for the Colorado Department of Transportation and Maintenance Division in Silverton. CDOT Maintenance, uh, we are in charge of uh, maintaining the highway of snow plows and heavy equipment in the winter. Highway 550 Red Mountain Pass is one of the most avalanche prone highways in the lower 48 states. We have over 100 avalanche paths that affect Highway 550 from Uray to uh, Purgatory. When you guys are uh, accessing the backcountry along the Highway 550 corridor, please be aware of your surroundings and where you're at. There are some well-marked avalanche areas that you cannot park in. We would like you to use uh, established parking areas. Um, coming up from Durango, there's plenty on uh, Colbank, Molus, and Red Mountain Pass. We plow our shoulders uh, mainly for uh, drainage and erosion control as far as uh, additional snow storage. A lot of the avalanche paths you'll be driving under are, will be plowed very well, but that's just to allow for additional snow storage in them areas. Please be aware of the conditions. Backcountry conditions and uh, highway avalanche conditions can differ greatly. Um, what we don't like to see is people parked right next to the road in avalanche prone areas. When you are parked in a designated area, uh, please be considerate of other users. Uh, there's more and more backcountry users as uh, time goes on. If you are parked illegally on the highway, you're putting yourself, other highway users, and especially CDOT workers at risk. We cannot safely do any avalanche mitigation with you inside of our areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Please watch where you park and enjoy your winter season. Thanks, Vance. Let's make sure to park responsibly when we're up on the passes and make CDOT's job a little bit easier.